All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another Real Hunting Podcast. We are actually in person today. This is the first podcast that we've all been in the same place together to do for a long time. And uh, what was good. I don't even know the last time. Maybe Texas. Tejas. Did we even do it? Oh, we did it podcast. Yeah, I think that's the last did time we? we were all in the same no. place. We didn't do a podcast at the turkey hunt. No. no, we didn't. No. Uh-uh. No. We haven't Have we ever podcast. done one in person? No. I haven't. I did one with you. You did one with him. At I did house. one with Ben. Wow, maybe this is the first. The first of the first. Really? With the inaugural in person podcast. Wow, what dang. Glad to be here. Glad we're here. A little too late. Yeah. This should happen a long time ago. No joke. But so. we are in northwest Colorado, uh, over the counter archery elk hunting. We did a ton of them in the hotel room on their line. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> I was about to say, we've all done this before for sure. All right. Anyway. Wow. On our mind for sure. Yeah. But yeah, we're chasing elk in Colorado. Yeah. And uh, changed the game plan up for today. And we have, uh, I feel really optimistic actually. I'm surprised. When we left, uh, left the last place that we were hunting, I'm like, oh yeah, we'll see. Yeah. But so let's, right. let's start from the beginning. We're doing a, a daily series, but I think we're going to have to combine a day or two together in one video because the it's amount of action um hasn't been there quite we've had a lot of action at certain points and then some days we didn't see anything so this is day three and me and Shetty are staying until we got another four days um ben we kicked him out so he's leaving tomorrow <laughs> he has uh, other obligations elk hunting in arizona, elk hunting in arizona but that will be part successful of hunting god cool oh my gosh dude what is it? Oh my, my heck. <laughs> oh my heck. Oh my heck. Oh my heck. My freaking heck. Uh, so yeah, yes. so day one, uh, me and Ben showed up right before dark. We were actually here. This is um, our good friend Chris's place. Mm-hmm. Chris, and, uh, if you're thank listening you, Chris. man. He's probably not listening. I'm getting intel right now as we speak, so sorry if I look at my phone, but uh, I got a call in 30 minutes. So, um, first day, me and Sandal sat a watering hole, set a camera on it, and sat the water just to see what, if anything would happen. We, we glassed up a cow spike. spike. Mm-hmm. Um, nothing came in the water that night. Uh, the next morning, we didn't see a thing mm-hmm. here, so we made a move up even further north uh, to another one of Chris's places. And uh, that's when the action started. Yeah. But y'all can y'all can take it from there. No, you did a great job. <laughs> so yeah. in Colorado, just so that everybody is clear, so legal bull. So we have. Well, I don't actually have a tag. I, have, I didn't buy a tag, but these two both have tags. He's, um, we we didn't let him buy a tag because he's bailing on us. Yeah. Uh-huh. Then uh, so. It's a either sex, but a legal bull is four points on one side and. That's kind of what we're going for. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the spike. If it's legal, we're shooting it. We're yeah. not picky. We're not looking for a 300 inch if, bull. If the spike was legal, we would have made a move and uh, tried to make yeah. something happen. But um, but yeah, like you said, as we went over to um, Chris's place, um, it was, uh, I mean, the conditions for one have been really hot, really dry. Uh, but we've, I mean, I'm actually pretty surprised at some of the I mean, close encounters that we had. Yeah. Uh, Mike came to full draw. Ben came to full draw on the same day. 28 yards for Ben. I was at 97 yards. Uh, and then you had another opportunity at 80. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, if, yeah. If yeah the hole was there, but there wasn't a shot. Yeah. So we've had four or five close calls where it could happen. And then we got on a big bull this big morning, but he was on private. Couldn't pull him over. Um, so we've just been dealing with that a bunch of public land hunters mm-hmm. out there calling and pushing bulls around so kind of all running for their lives right now the hunters because <laughs> that's what i see <laughs> the hunters and <laughs> us chasing the elk that are running for their lives too the dude i saw this morning was in a full sprint like <laughs> like track star dude call he said he was calling, and while, he was he was calling while he's running <laughs> 
and like just straight in a beeline across the flat after that. Chasing elk. Like, chasing you elk. must think very highly of your endurance because <laughs> you ain't catching. You got to play hard to get when those you're elk. imitating a cow elk. Right? They only like the cows that are playing hard to get. She's, he's trying to be a herd cow and just run them bulls down. But it's funny, like, I'm sure people look at stuff that we're doing and they're like, those elves, idiots, what are yeah. they doing? But yeah, we've had actually pretty good. Uh, Pretty good opportunity we've seen some elk i was surprised too that we got shots on them like the bull that i got in front of was just a fluke thing we've been glassing through most of the morning and they just out of the blue they're headed right towards us made a little move on them and you know you just needed one more second to get the shot yeah. and it was really close but i'm excited because we did get pretty good footage of it so you guys will be able to see that on the youtube yep. yeah y'all go check out uh the previous videos we may throw up this we may throw this up before those videos hit, but if not, go check them out. But yeah, we've been eating really good, mm -hmm. awesome food, yep. and things are getting exciting. Even though Ben Sandal is leaving tomorrow, um, the original camera that we set up, we set a camera up on two ponds in both spots, and the spot that we left, we came back, checked this camera, and Ben has a five by five coming in at 545 with about seven cows. So, Shetty is gonna sit on that water and hold a night, hopefully smoke that joker. And me and Sandal are going to some backcountry stuff, uh, really close to where our mule deer hunted last year. So, um, hopefully we can keep the action coming. Figure it out over there. Yeah. But I'm excited, like I feel like we have some legit like possibilities of success. Like with the bulls that I guess have been seen over in that spot you guys are headed to. And like for me, like we were talking about this earlier too, the elk that we were after um, out north there at Chris's place were just very, very highly pressured. Like mm -hmm. they're coming off of ag fields and they're basically running the gauntlet every morning to trying to get to the, the thick trees. And I would rather, I was telling these guys, have one bull that's calm mm -hmm. and acting like a bull and then have, you know, 30 or 40 bulls that are running past you every day. Yeah, so to get lucky. Yeah, and the trail camera photos we have of this bull, he's herded up with cows, he's ruddy. I stayed there for a while too. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just sitting there, so looked like but, relaxed. relaxed. Chris's uh, dad's piece of property up here in the mountains is a sweet little cabin. We'll show you all in the videos uh, what this place looks like. It's sweet. Gotta fix a little sewer issue though. <laughs> Dry drains. Yeah. It's better. It's better now. Yeah, it is. Um, but yeah, it's awesome up here. Super pumped to be up here. It's super hot. Uh, for this time of year, it's like been in the 90s, 90s, low 90s during the day, and then drops down to like the 40s, mid 40s in the in the night. So it's been nice in the mornings and the evenings, but it's cool enough. They should be starting to get fired up a little bit. I think we're a touch early on the rut, but there are definitely some bulls getting after it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah. We got into some bugles this morning. They were calling back, responsive, but yeah, four or five bulls. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. exciting. Hopefully that bull tonight, you hear him coming. That would be so sweet. They usually bugle right before they come to water too. So. Well, he's like my special. It's like a raggy five point dude. Hey, <laughs> that's a big bull to me. Y'all shot, y'all both shot a ton of bulls. I've only shot two. One was raghorn and one was a decent five point with my bow. And I'd take anything. Any legal bull would be freaking awesome. Yeah, we're awesome. here to punch tags. Yeah. like legal bulls. Even if the wrong cow stands there, looks at me funny for a little bit. We got either sex tags, so maybe. We'll yeah, if it comes down the last day, I'm shooting a cow I'll just so I can have the meat. The way that Biden's making this world go, I want as much meat, <laughs> want as much meat in my freezer as I can. Mike goes right down the political. Well, he's I don't still, still comment. Y'all can just unsubscribe. <laughs> if y'all don't agree with that, y'all can get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, well, Mike's still mad about the hundred twenty dollars brisket. <laughs> oh, oh so man. man. I yeah. wanted to cook a brisket. A Texas boy over here coming up to Colorado. Show them how to put, cook a brisket. They had one brisket in the back. I had to ask the meat butcher for if they had any briskets. And he comes back like five minutes later, hands me the brisket. I was like, heck yeah. So I grabbed it, started walking to Ben that has the cart. And I looked down, I'm like, I turn around and hand it back to the butcher. It was $140. Oh, $140. $140 brisket. It was like a dinky brisket. No, it wasn't no Texas brisket. Oh, yeah. I couldn't believe it. So we ended up buying two pork butts for like 20 bucks. You can get those they brisket at the they gas station in Texas for like four ninety nine. Bucky's has brisket. Yeah, you can get the quarter briskets for like 12 bucks. You can just get them off your own cow. Yeah. Just walk out there and slice them off. 
but yeah. we've been eating good. Those pork butts were phenomenal. And Chris, oh, I don't yeah. know if you guys are, man, if anybody out there is looking to do an elk hunt, Chris is a man. Cause yeah. Smoking River Pursuit. Smoking River Pursuit. Yeah, yeah it's just a phenomenal cook and a fun dude. Great, great guy. Yeah, it's a good hunter too. Mm -hmm. So we actually have, uh, at the end of this week, we have a cool hunt with Chris and uh, Holy Pursuit Foundation. So I think a, a younger guy that has cancer is coming down and uh, we're gonna try to put him on a bull. So Ben may make that first day of that hunt, so hopefully we make something happen there. Yeah, that'd be cool. But uh, it'll be an awesome, awesome opportunity to help somebody out. So we gotta kill too. Yeah, we got a lot of killing yeah. we gotta do in the next few days. Yeah. But I like I like that we have a couple possibilities, you know, even if we were all going up into that one spot, the likelihood of both of us getting a chance at a bull is pretty low. Yeah. So like we always say though, man, it can turn around so quick. Yeah. Like you can go from down in the dumps from like, what are we doing? We're wasting our time. And then like one opportunity happens and all of a sudden it's the greatest time. Oh, me and Ben were sitting up on the ridge. He was eating a peach pie or a pecan <laughs> pie. And I was like, oh, here they come. And they were running across Sage Flat. They, we got set up, he set a decoy up. And I was just sitting there and I was like, where are they at? Where are they at? He couldn't see him either. Just out of nowhere, 97 yards. Boop, boop, two bulls. And they busted us when I pulled back. So, mm -hmm. Didn't make it happen, but yeah, it can't happen in a split second. Mm -hmm. Doesn't take long. Go from down in the dumps to just like, now you're a hero. Yeah. yeah. But sometimes that's actually the best hunts is when they're a little challenging and frustrating and then like it all comes together. That's oh yeah, if you happen to shoot a big bull on a trip like this, it'd yeah. be like, the best time yeah. ever. Yeah. It's funny too to relive all those opportunities. Like we've been shooting bows all week and keep putting the target out, like whatever distance we had bulls that morning and seeing if we could have killed them or not. 180. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently I couldn't have, could not have hit. Well, it's funny too, cause I'm like, put that target at 28. Just kind of like joking around. I'm like, let's see if I could have killed them or not. And then I totally shanked it. High shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I would have killed The worst stuff. part is, is you were dialed like bullseye, 12 oh, range, like 80 so yards. Oh, good on the long like, stuff. And then move it to 28, now high shoulder. <laughs> yeah, we should actually shoot before we go out this evening. Definitely. Uh, I love that. I love taking a target with us and shooting like yeah. while you're on the trip because it just keeps your confidence up. Yeah. I was wondering, packing your bow around, like did it get bombed or something just messed up with it? case even messes mm -hmm. with my head. But yeah, this is a fun time hanging out with your boys mm -hmm. elk camp even if you don't shoot a thing but that's one thing i gotta i think we all gotta learn not learn but work on is just in, enjoy it no matter what's going on just enjoy it because when elk season's over you're like man i wish i would have soaked that up just a little yeah, more. yeah i'm kidding so just yeah. gotta slow down a little bit and enjoy what we're experiencing no matter what's happening mm -hmm. so yeah i think we're just getting to the good stuff too yeah like it's starting to turn over the elk are going to be be bugling a little bit it more sucks. here. Are you rubbing it in the end tomorrow? Man, you just wait, bro. It's going to be a bugle Jeez. fest. As soon as you get out of here, dude, they're scared. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> they know you're a killer, dude. So they're like, once that guy's gone, we'll come out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he killed the world no. record antelope. Well, well shoot. Part. Oh, my gosh. Well, we'll be, I will be in Arizona, and that will be part of the, the elk hunting series. So Yeah. It'll be the... It's a little different over there because it is draw tags. It's not over the counter. So yeah. pressure's a little less, but... Hopefully we'll have a lot, you know, continued elk success as I leave. But well, yeah. Ben's videos have been top tier. I, you guys can tell from the view cam on the channel. Like Ben's been crushing it. Ben already killed a big buck this year and guided that big antelope. So good job yeah. keeping the content just floating on the channel. I appreciate you, man. With it. Yeah. So we we also another thing we we do these podcasts just to give you guys content, but we enjoy doing them. So y'all leave in the comments. I know a whole lot of y'all don't watch them. If you are watching it, thank you for watching it. Um, but it kind of updates you with stuff that we all see in the videos. Um, and one of the things we've been talking about is coming out with merch and a mm -hmm. website. So if you are watching it and uh, you'd like to see some real hunting merch, uh, y'all drop it in the comments. Yeah. Because we uh, it's some it's something that we can do. We just we don't want to put it out there and nobody want it. So yeah. but we ha we already have some cool designs that yeah. I think y'all love. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah it's kind of funny because we're all in like a different place right we all have different things going on mike yeah. has his channel i have mine ben has his channel as well but like mostly just the full-time job that keeps him super busy plus guiding so we're all like testing the water to see what works with this channel and it's kind of a unique unique way to go about this but um it's cool to hear you guys' feedback and uh what you think is working and what you like to see so let us know in the comments yeah, it's super helpful yeah we'd also like to do eventually do um sell some hunts 
for you guys to come hunt with us, mm -hmm. whether it be in Texas or probably Texas. Trophy just doe hunts. Trophy doe hunts. <laughs> but yeah, no, we'd really love to do father son hunts. That's what we yeah. really are passionate about. We're we're all dads. I'm a new dad, but um, I think that's something that'd be awesome to do a father son hunt. Probably next season. Mm -hmm. um, possibly uh, MLD tags in February when we're not doing anything. Uh, but, yeah. Y'all leave it in the comments if that's something y'all be interested in. We're not gonna make it to where it's uh, unaffordable. Uh, it's just something that we wanna do content on, so it's not like we're in it to make money off you yeah. guys. Yeah. It's something that we wanna experience and get kids involved in the outdoors, so. Yeah, that's like one of our pillars of this brand too, is like when we started Real, that was one of the main things that we had in common, is just the desire to like, not only build like those relationships with our own kids and our dads, but also like to help our viewers understand and. Um, that they can get out there and spend time with their their sons and their daughters in the hills and, and make it a memorable thing Like I know I we've talked about it a lot like the best memories I have are just hunting with my dad growing up and yep. I, uh, I just want other people to be able to to make those memories and experience that stuff too And I think I mean I got a long way to go But y'all y'all got boys that are they'll be on these hunts with us. It won't be about us anymore It'll be about them shoot my girl. I yeah, think. we got an air rifle elk hunt in Arizona yeah. Don't tell anybody. It's gonna be the first. It's a sneak peek. Yeah, but so you guys didn't hear it from us. It's also. gonna happen. Yeah. So uh, and then the coos deer hunt. So yeah, she's she's quite Air Force Airgun dot com. She's already a killer. <laughs> yeah. Freaking sniping that killer. lion out of a tree. Yeah. So she's right between the eyes. <laughs> with the lever right action in the eyeball. A lever action. Yeah, that wasn't uh, necessarily the plan, but it worked out. Worked out like great. He's dead. Kind of like that deer shot. I should have brought some lion, man. For us to eat. Wow, it's good. It is. Yeah, we've been grabbing wild game on this trip and it's been delicious. We have eaten it. We haven't eaten other than those pork butts. That's the only uh process or and bacon. Yeah. And eggs. What about, and cheese, I guess. Uh, what else should I name on? Pizza. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> I ate some Oreos. Uncrustables. <laughs> Dang it. Get some <laughs> Pop <Popped> it. it. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, but we, we had some elk tenderloin that was phenomenal. Yeah, I gave, I, I let everybody eat my elk tenderloins from last year. Hey, it was I should have just it. brought one. They were so good, the, uh, so mellow. That means Let's I do. have to shoot. Let's dude, get some other night. Place. We're having you know tomorrow. What's, you know what's crazy? Y'all have a lot more bulls than me, but y'all can probably, y'll probably have a, a word in this. So that bull, the tenderloins that we ate, he wasn't stretched. Well, okay, let me take that back. It wasn't like we were pressuring him. He wasn't, he had no clue we were there. But when I shot him, it took five shots. It's like every experience I've ever had with a white tail where I've shot more than once, it's like the stress and the meat makes yeah. it taste terrible. But that bull was freaking delicious. Yeah. He's a perfect eater bull. Yeah. I mean, any of those raggy, like, that sounds ruder than it is. Those <laughs> younger. He's not a rag horn. <laughs> He's a pretty bull. He was a beauty <laughs> to me, but yeah. He's I'm, a I'm, tainted. <laughs> I'm tainted by living in Utah where yeah. all that matters is score. He's, a, he's a, just a perfect eater bull, is what he was. And yeah, man, I like that. He's about like the bull I killed last year in Utah, and it's just you can just enjoy those ones. They taste so good. I think I got uh, five. I counted before I left because I brought those tenderloins. I brought those two packages. I have five packages of elk steaks left, and like ten uh, one pound burger man. bags. Oh dang! Moment. I shot three, oh. three deer yet last year: a mule deer and two elk. Wow. Dang, that's all we eat. So I gotta get. That's I'm shooting a cow if it comes down to it. That's, yeah. Man, they're so good. Yeah, cows. Yeah, I'll probably so shoot a good. young cow too. Yeah, if you're gonna, man. I shot a calf one time and. Um, they are the best. Yeah, I'm not ashamed. I did it on purpose. <laughs> um, and it seriously was just like the lightest, cleanest meat ever. Yeah. There was so a cow and a calf. Kind of light there. meat? Yeah, it didn't, it didn't have a. Uh, for no, the milk, yeah. Milk in its meat. It's, <laughs> it's like veal. Light meal. Um, but yeah, I didn't have the spots or anything, you know, so it looked somewhat adult. But I didn't want to pack that big cow out of there, and she had a year old cow. So I'm like, like, yeah, oh, she's just a cow. shot the cow. Dude, it was there. sad. And this is a story yeah, that I don't really like tell that. that much. I did. I shot the calf. The cow runs up the hill, and she just sat there and barked. No, oh my gosh, gosh dude, you're me. killing me. Stop. I'm just telling you guys. <laughs> That's if real. You're gonna, That's real. Uh, it's that real, meat, but I would not do that. <laughs> right. If it was delicious, and I'll, I'll say that, but it was sad.
Yeah. I felt bad. Hey, I feel they, bad. What's the difference? Four year old cow versus one year old right? cow. What's the difference? No difference? The difference is that its mother sat there the whole time. And That's pretty why an alarm barked. Yeah. We we have to face the reality of the instincts of the animals we Well, it's like the mountain lion, they don't care. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're eating fawns right in front of the mom all the time. <laughs> so it is. Ultimate predator. Yeah, they're not they're not people. But yeah, no, I mean I tell my daughter the same thing. I'm like, just don't shoot the biggest one. Shoot like medium size. Well, I was telling you guys about <laughs> Troy Boy, who uh, there was a spike, like a, like a yearling spike, and a gigantic dinosaur, freaking like brontosaurus cow. <laughs> and he shoots that cow, dude. We walked up on it as long as a freaking Volkswagen. I'm like, Troy is the biggest cow That's I've great. ever seen, dude. <laughs> it's so it heavy. was so heavy. We that walked up. That was like a freaking baseball bat. Dude, they were like. <laughs> But she tasted great, just an old, old cow. Yeah. But. Well, I am expecting a call in two minutes, so. Let's wrap this puppy up. Yep, we are we got more coming. We're gonna be sitting at this poker table tonight, and uh, we'll do another one for you. So We're gonna be talking about the bull we just killed. That's what's hopefully, going yep. But we're gonna do, if we kill a bull, expect to see how to butcher an elk. We're gonna do cooking episodes. Our Big favorite plans. recipes. So, y'all stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, keep it real. Bye.